Welcome back to the channel and I'm your host Coach Evans and today we're going to talk about a little random interaction that I had with NFL great and uh, Hall of Famer, Super Bowl winning QB, NFL Network um, celebrity, Kurt Warner, great NFL quarterback, uh, great story on how he eventually got to the NFL and all this stuff through the CFL in Iowa and working through or working at the grocery store and, you know, got a movie out about it and whatnot. It's a great story. Um, so he put up, um, and I'll put the message up right, right here, the tweet. This right there. So he put it up. He says, until I pass out, and this was a couple nights ago, after two nights of little sleep, anybody have some real NFL slash football scheme questions for me? Let's talk ball. QB Confidential. And so me, I was watching, I think we were watching The Best Man and, uh, series and a commercial came on so I picked up my phone just to see you know just to browse while the commercial was on so I see it and I reply I said um, what do you think about Baltimore's past concepts and um, you know I put the phone down and go back to watching the show you know not thinking much of it because a lot of times you know those guys they'll do that and you know they'll get flooded with questions and they won't answer uh, you know a lot of them because they get so many well apparently I was one of the first ones to get through and he replied about four minutes later, and I saw it, which just the fact that I saw I had a reply from him, I got excited. And then reading the reply, you know, and this is what you get. He says, I'm not a fan, but I also know due to the nature of their offense, three tight ends and a run first, it has to be hard to marry a great passing scheme. Uh, spacing and options are limited when everybody is tucked into the line of scrimmage. Uh, so you have to do your best with those limitations. And that's a very accurate answer because there is one play I highlighted on a video yesterday or the day before. And it was the end zone view. And everybody knows the end zone view is basically for the line play. It's really just, you know, from guard to guard and linebackers and D-line and outside linebackers if they play on the edge. That's really what that film is for. That, that version is for. Well, there were 22 people on the tight version. Which kind of goes to his point with, you know, having three tight ends and everybody being tucked at the line of scrimmage. That's part of the spacing problem right there. Now, I don't remember if it was third and one or it was some short yardage situation. I don't remember. But everybody was at the line of scrimmage. All 22 guys. 11 on offense, 11 on defense. And so really just, you know, to, to wrap this thing on up, it put a lot of things in perspective. And I haven't tried to, like, like draw any of the formations that, that we use a lot and see what kind of schemes I think I can can draw up from there. I haven't tried that, which is something I may try to do and um and then go from there. But you gotta spread people out. You have to. And that's you know the gist of what I got from Kurt's response. You gotta spread people out that'll open up your running lanes, that'll open up your passing spacing. I'm not saying you're it's, it's gonna make you better, but you'll have better spacing. And being able to see guys open because we don't throw guys open. They have to be open first, whichever quarterback is in there. And that's that's one of the negatives for both uh, Snoop and, and, and Lamar. But, again, thank you, Kurt, for answering my questions. I, you probably never see this, but if you do, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, the interaction you guys do with fans uh, is, is very appreciated from me. I don't know about the rest, but it's very appreciative from me. So, see y'all soon, man. Peace. With the, 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 the